it's long overdue, but I think it's finally time that we go and unlock the premium version of the 338. There's been a number of video ideas I've had in even the last couple of weeks that would kind of include that, and I never feel like I have time to actually go and do it. So we're going to go on a hunt today, pretty much going hopefully from stone circle area to stone circle area, get some animals, and by the end, hopefully get our hands on that 338 that we've been missing for a couple of years now. Now, I've just got the steam guide pulled up for the locations of the stone circles, and I would say there's a good chance that we're going to end up not taking the ideal path to get to them, but one way or another, I figure we'll get to all, I think, 15 locations and get those shots and get our hands on that 338. But in the spirit of trying to unlock that premium weapon, I thought we'd only hunt with other premium weapons that we've unlocked in the past. So, of course, we shot the Axis Deer there with the 44 Gaucho, which now that I think of it, was unlocked through the Parquet missions, and I think that makes Parquet the only map that gives two premium variations. We're going to be lucky if we survive the Stampede, but anyway, as we kind of work our way around here, we also have the Laminated 303 from Te Awaroa, and we've got the 6.5 Rayo from Quattro Kalinas, which we unlocked quite recently, and I'm hoping we can get some use out of today because we've only taken it on maybe two or three hunts since. The most difficult part about this might just be locating the targets themselves. They're not exactly the most obvious, but that's going to be the first one out of the way, and I don't intend on showing all of them through the course of this video because there are a bunch, but I guess it's an opportunity to fire the 6.5 Rayo, and that's probably the gun we'll use for most of that. And in the meantime, hopefully the in-between parts going from target to target is going to have some cool stuff for us. What the? All right. Speaking of 6.5 Rayo opportunities, apparently there's just a legendary Puma chilling out there. So we'll hit him with the 6.5. I can't, there's also a mythical beside him, but I can't believe I was unaware I had a legendary on my map. I guess I have been shooting these and somehow we got a lung on that follow up. But when we did the red deer hunt here, maybe like a week and a half, two weeks ago, I was shooting some Pumas when I ran through, and I guess it's a respawn of that. Now, it was a 37 to 39 estimate, so not exactly a guarantee. In fact, that's probably the lowest estimate a legendary Puma could have. In theory, I guess you could get a max of 38, but that would just be a guaranteed troll anyway. So, as a piebald female Axis Deer is running off, fingers crossed that this guy is going to make it, because... Who knows what we're actually going to run into, especially when we're not necessarily hanging out by the water. 38.9 trolled yet again by a level 9 animal, so we got trolled by a level 9 black bear yesterday, and then trolled by a level 9 puma today, but actually much like the black bear. Just a common, so not that big a deal. Would have been worse if it was some kind of other fur variation that trolled us, but yeah, go figure. At least we've seen a max level already. I kind of figured something like this might happen, and unfortunately already, we're kind of seeing it play out. So, we were in this general area already once, and it's not to uh, say anything negative about the Steam Guide. I mean, obviously, I don't know where these stone circles are, so I'm quite appreciative that it's been made. But because they are in no particular order, I kind of figured there might be some back and forth. And... While we didn't go past this particular lake yet, and luckily these mule deer are here to take something out along the way, we are kind of backtracking a little bit, and I guess maybe that'll be a good thing since it did kind of just get us into mule deer drink time in this case, so it's going to make it take a little bit longer, but like I said, maybe going through the same area at different times is ultimately going to help us, so we'll try to take that perspective instead. And for our trouble... We got ourselves a gold level 3 mule deer. Heart and double lung shot on the walk definitely wasn't a bad deal, and I wanted to use the 303 since mule deer are a little bit of a tougher animal. And since it's been a while, maybe we'll actually go ahead and pop this uh, target in the video. By the way, I don't know if we'll get to use it, but I do actually have an option for cinnamon deal. It's Kraken's shotgun, which just looks terrible. But uh, it's loaded with 12 gauge burst shot should we need to use it, and... I'm kind of hoping we do get a chance. It just depends on where some of these locations are at. But I'm going to guess, according to the guide, that it's probably, yeah, right up there. So 
Again, we'll go with the 6.5 because it does tend to be the flattest shooting uh, rifle. And got that one out of the way, so I think we're somewhere around halfway done. If the number that it says on here is correct, that there's 15 total, and I would have done one or two at some point, we should be around halfway. And already, another example of going to the same area at different times has given us another opportunity for a decent mule deer buck. And I want to say that's basically the same rack, so probably another shot at getting a gold. I want to go for another 303 hard shot if we can get it in there. So with this head up, wanted to drop that right into the center of the chest and I mean he's still going down good and quick and in fact sort of in the direction we need to go so that'll be all fine but this is the target immediately after the one that we just shot so straight away kind of getting to take advantage of that same thing again it does appear to be the same rack and once again it is a gold actually pretty much the same exact score I want to say the last one was 225 but there's a good example of why I wanted to use the 303 we didn't get the hard shot, we were, I think, just too far to the right. And had we done that with a 6.5, that mule deer would have ran way farther, and it might have been okay, it was kind of going towards the stone circle location, like I said, but had it not gone in the direction we needed to go, that would have cost us quite a bit of time just for a slightly off-target shot. There may actually be an opportunity here to use a crank and shotgun, and... I fired once earlier to try to hit a target with it, just because I thought it would be funny if we could, but it was a bit too far away and I didn't have that opportunity, and clearly, I never reloaded, but we actually got a gold cinnamon teal with crank and shotgun. I didn't think we'd fire that today, and it was pure luck that they actually decided to fly over us, but I'm not going to complain. Also, I mean, we're headed in that direction, so this is going to be a 6.5 one. But I thought maybe we could get a decent shot. And again, the mule deer actually is going to run in the direction that we need to go. We can see he's going down. So should be all fine to track him down when we get over there. But actually a couple of kills now from passing by this little lake. Though that one would be just a little more interesting. So we're going to go back to the 303 here. Especially for the angle that we have. He's kind of turning broadside again. That would have been borderline too far forward but it looks like we got him so now three all because i wanted to stop by this lake and actually look for a black buck which evidently does not have any of those around so i really think we lucked out in what was here definitely not a bad looking buck in fact a 273 trophy rating just the very front bit of that right lung but it counts for the vital hit and got him down Honestly, a lot more quickly than the 6.5 brought the other mule deer down. I'm hoping these are his tracks, and in fact they are, so that could not have gone any better. He looks kind of similar to the couple of 225s from earlier, but a little bit smaller and no stickers on his kind of back tines there. But left lung with the 6.5 barely, and the way that all worked out is just going to allow us to pretty much continue on our way. After all of that... We finally have our hands on the Championship 338, and just right away, I like it better than the Range Master. It's got that lighter colored wood, and there's a couple of water buffalo out here. I think we're going to go ahead and try to get the one on the right here, because it's got a pretty decent estimate even for a level 6. And then what we're going to do is actually just fire into the air. So that should be a lung shot on him. I want to see the health going down to confirm that, so we should be good. Then actually even this gives us a decent opportunity, but if we turn to the sunset in a little better, and then just kind of do the same thing again, we just get a good look at just how nice this gun actually is. And of course we are pretty much towards the end of this hunt. We're not going to get to do a whole lot more, but I'm really looking forward to taking the Championship 338 out on some other hunts. And I wanted to also address, because I'm sure some of you guys actually noticed it, I didn't have the missions active, I've had the whole mission system off since the Rancho update because eventually, and actually quite soon, I want to do the Rancho missions and of course I always wait until the map comes out on console so I'm not spoiling anything. So I had to run around after shooting all the targets and get within render of them again to actually get the mission to uh, complete. But yeah, it's pretty cool to actually have this gun finally. I think that might mean we do have every gun in the game now. I can't believe it's taken this long to actually get to that point, but it was kind of like a time investment that I guess I just didn't deem necessary, but 
I really like this gun. We'll probably do some lion hunting sometime in the near future. I still want to get that rare female lion, and this might be a cool weapon to do that with, so maybe that'll be something to look forward to, but we did get ourselves a gold water buffalo just barely. That's our first kill with the Championship 338, and hopefully we're going to have some kind of cool kill with it sometime down the road. But anyway, that is officially going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.